Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all things hearing related. Now, I imagine that you've arrived here today as you have some form of noise trapped inside your head and you're looking for answers. Well, you'll be pleased to know that you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll play sound files of the most common types of tinnitus and hopefully help to point you in the right direction to be able to overcome that annoying sound trapped inside your head. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that grey notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Tinnitus is technically any noise that you perceive in your head which isn't being produced by something in the environment around you. And that can mean different things to different people. If you've visited this channel before, you'll know that I suffer with a permanent tinnitus in my own ears, and I have my own ways of coping with it. Mine is a high-pitched constant tone which sounds something like this. It's there 24 seven and without question, it's worse when I'm tired, stressed, unwell, or in a quiet listening situation, such as laying in bed of a nighttime. Now, I don't know if you know, but there is actually so much that you can do to manage your tinnitus, but we'll come on to that later on in this video. I'll now play to you the seven most common tinnitus sounds according to the American Tinnitus Association, with the first one being the type of tinnitus that I personally suffer with. I would be really keen on knowing which is the closest sound to your tinnitus, so drop me a note in the comments beneath this video. Tonal tinnitus. Tea kettle sounds. Buzzing. Static. Screeching. Electric. Roaring. So which one sounded most like your tinnitus? Now there is one point that I like to mention in all of my tinnitus videos, and that's that there are a few types of tinnitus that do require immediate medical investigation. So if you experience either a pulsatile tinnitus or tinnitus that follows your heartbeat, tinnitus in one ear and not the other, tinnitus that has changed in nature over a very short period of time, or finally, tinnitus that is stopping you from sleeping or contributing to anxiety or depression, then it's best to head over to your doctor and they should refer you for further investigation. Also on that same note, if you develop a sudden onset sensory neural hearing loss, either with or without tinnitus, then you do definitely need to get yourself to the emergency room or an urgent care ENT clinic as soon as possible to investigate those possible causes of hearing loss and also then for immediate treatment. By the time that I have patients in clinic talking to me about their tinnitus, they've often hit a few brick walls and been told that there's nothing that can be done to help them to overcome their tinnitus, which is absolutely not the case at all. My aim was to keep this video short and to the point, but I do have two other videos which I think would be really valuable to watch after watching this video today. Firstly with this one, which covers the most effective ways of overcoming your tinnitus. And secondly, this video that covers which hearing aids have the best tinnitus features. I do hope that you found this video useful, guys. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Plus, if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.